Yo, what is going on guys? I hope you are all doing well. So on today's episode, we are going to be kicking it off with this woman right here who says that she is absolutely done with hookup culture. She's trying her best guys, but she is trying not to cry because she cannot find her Prince Charming. So without further ado, let's just jump right into today's episode. Don't forget to go and subscribe to Hadan, the creator of today's episode. And let's just take a listen to what this woman has to tell us. I am genuinely so fed up with this generation and dating. Like I'm just so tired of it to the point where it fucking upsets me. This past week, I was talking to this guy um, who I had met on Chispa about two months ago. He had given me the ick two months ago because he was responding to my story and basically he was telling me that I should come over his house. And I'm like, dude, I don't even know you. I'm not going to go over your house. So that so this is a man who clearly is not really interested in a relationship. He's not interested in anything serious. Why? Because he's just asking you straight over to his house. You would think, right, that if this were happening, that she would go, okay, I'm just going to stop talking to this man because that's not what I'm interested in. And everybody would part ways and everybody would be happy. But no, let's continue. Then I ended up leaving him on red. And then two months went by and he replied to my story on my birthday post saying that I had a beautiful smile and that we should hang out. I shouldn't have even responded to that, but I was like, you know what, maybe he realized that um, he came off a little too strong, right? So I said, sure, let's, let's hang out, whatever. So we planned to do it on Saturday, right? We even exchanged numbers and whatever, we were texting. So Saturday comes up, which was yesterday, and he comes up with the excuse of, Oh, I can't because I have a family event and I forgot, but we can do it tomorrow, like for sure. I said, normally I would be like, no, you know, like, no, you're canceling on me, like, no. But I was like, you know what, it's a family event, I get it, alright, sure, let's, let's try tomorrow. Um okay, so number one, this man is probably quite attractive, or at least to her. Otherwise, guys, this is what happens, okay? If you're unattractive to a woman, and you try and reschedule, or one earlobe, is longer than the other, she'll find just any reason to get rid of you, okay? But if you're a man who's attractive to her, you can cancel on her, you can not talk to her for two months, you can invite her straight over to your house and then message her two months later, and she's still going to respond. And I love at the beginning of this, guys, before we continue, she's like, oh, you know, we even exchanged numbers and everything. Can you imagine if this was your daughter, okay, and she was explaining her dating life to you, and she said, oh, well, you know, I didn't rush into things. I got his number first. <laughs> okay, dude, okay. Um, But right up, like, this man is, like, very much, like, persistent in me trying to come over his house. For example, yesterday, after he canceled on me, by the way, I was still texting him, he was saying, like, oh, you know, you should come over and give me a good night kiss. I said, no, I'm in bed already, like, no. So then last night, he doesn't even respond to my last text. And then it's currently 5.18 on Sunday and um, nothing. Yeah, very simple. He doesn't want a relationship from you. He doesn't want anything serious for you. And the reason why, guys, the reason why... I don't feel sympathy for these women when they jump on here and they complain about this cu this culture is because they participate in it. Number one, they participate in it. Number two, they're not selecting the men who would actually have a serious relationship with them. Okay, this is like entirely self-inflicted. You could choose the guy who's in your DMs talking about wanting to take you out on a date, you know, wanting to spend time with you, quality time with you, not just come right over. Okay, but what do you do? You continue to talk to the guy, you continue to talk to the man who clearly just does not want anything serious from you. It's absolutely amazing to me, guys. Like nothing. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I'm so sick of this generation because literally the only thing people are looking for are hookups and I'm just not into that. And it's really frustrating when people waste your fucking time. Okay, so first of all, <clears throat> The odds of this woman not doing a hookup in her past are low. If you're a girl who is single, as you get older and older, the belief that I have that you haven't had a hookup is incredibly low. Okay, that that that's like off the bat, that's baseline. Let's continue with what she said right there. I missed something as well. Or hookups, and I'm just not into that, and it's really... 
Okay. She says that people are only just interested in having a bit of fun and that's it. Yeah. The men that you choose, the men that you want to be with, the men that, you know, you think are cute, right? These men don't want anything serious with you. You're absolutely correct. A hundred percent. And you know what this guy did, guys? This guy who, this guy understands something, okay? He screened this woman out. He's like, okay, this woman doesn't really seem in interested in me like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to withdraw my attention. Because that's the only thing that men have, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so what these guys do is rather than continue the conversation, give her free attention, free validation, he just goes, oh, okay, she must not really be interested in me like that. And he withdraws his attention, which in my mind is the correct thing to do, you know? I don't want to fuck. Like, I just want a genuine connection. And I'm so sick of this. <laughs> I'm just tired of this generation. And it, it really, truly upsets me. And I'm, I'm trying so hard not to cry right now. But I'm just, I'm so fed up. <sighs> the whole thing. That's beautiful. So we've got another woman in a second that we'll talk about here complaining about uh, hookup culture. But guys, don't feel sorry for these women. Number one, they actively participate in the thing that they're complaining about. She knew, guys, she knew that this man was not interested in anything serious. Okay, why? Because he just messages her saying, come over. She says no, or that whatever, she gives some excuse. So he goes, okay, well, I'm just not going to talk to you for two months. So he doesn't talk to her for two months. He sets up something, he has, he has it fall through. And then he's like, okay, let's do the next day. And she still doesn't seem interested. So he just leaves her on red. Very, very simple. She doesn't have to continue talking to them. The guy, as far as I'm concerned, the man made it quite clear he's not looking for a connection with you. Now let's continue on to the, uh, on to the next woman here. And guys, again, don't forget to go and subscribe to Hadan. I'm going to leave his channel in the pinned comment for putting together today's video, guys. Um, as always, putting these things together is an absolute pain in the ass because you have to listen to these people multiple times. So let's continue. Hookup culture, right? Topic. Um... I don't want to feel like a vase. I am not a receptacle or a trash bin or anything else. I want to feel like I am a special human being that has been chosen because you like me as a human being. And I don't feel like that's totally unreasonable. Um, I just don't. I, I don't. Uh, and like, you know, your girl has needs. I do. But I would rather not than have to feel that way. Um... I don't want to be selected just because I'm the only girl there. That's not the point. I want to be the right person for the right person. And I want the right person for me. Madam, your right person has entered into and left your life a whole bunch of times. Okay? When women say that they're looking for their right person, okay, the reason why they're single is because they are keeping themselves single. They want the guy, like she said, she literally just worded it right there. She wants the man with options. She wants the guy who has a bunch of other women. And guess what? The men who have a bunch of other women, typically, are, number one, they're not typically interested in commitment anyway, because there's no reason to commit to women. But number two, you know, why should he commit to you if he were going to commit in the first place? And your argument can be like, oh, well, you know, my personality, I'm, I'm so great. I'm so this, okay? When people boast about their personality, guys, I've always had this opinion. When people sit there and they say things like, I'm so charitable, I'm so kind, I'm, you know, I've got a great personality. These are typically the people who don't have these things. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if you have these things, there's no point, there's no need to boast about them on the internet. You know, it, it just, it doesn't make sense. Because we get along and we're like, hey, I just really, really like you so much. And, like, I'm attracted to you, and I want this to be a thing. So, I don't know. I don't really feel like that's too much to be asked for, really. And for also them not to be, like, sexist and racist and, and bad people. <laughs> I just, like, can we? I don't feel like, I mean, we already know the standards for dating are in hell. Like, <laughs> they're just there. But, uh... Yeah, I just, I mean, and everybody has hookups. It happens, like, sometimes you, you mess up, you trip, you fall onto somebody. Yeah, guys, you know, sometimes you just run into random men and you have encounters with them, and it's just, guys, it's a complete accident, obviously. You know, she can't be blamed for this. She has no culpability at all, and uh, that's just the way things go. 
And notice how she throws around a couple little words in there, right? The isms, okay? Um, you know, it's gotten to the point now where if you call a man, I'm going to have to say this funnily, okay? But if you call a man a misogynist, right? That word has so little meaning these days, thanks to modern day culture, thanks to all these, you know, news, media outlets, everyone online, the first thing they do when a man has an opinion they don't like is they call him something like this. You know, guys, I tried. I... Forgive me for doing so, guys, but I actually tried watching a show on Netflix the other day. I know, terrible idea, absolutely terrible idea. I'm like, wow, this show doesn't look too bad. I click on it, and within the first two minutes, they're throwing around the word toxic masculinity. So I just unsubbed from Netflix. I'm like, why did I even bother? You know, and this is why. It's like, you throw around these words, you throw around these things. I don't want a man who does this, this, that, that. Okay, bye then. Like, not not interested. And number two, like, the words that you're throwing around, they don't apply to most men. It's just that you don't like the opinions of a man, so you're willing to label him things that you don't like. Because it's been a year, or whatever the case may be, but it's just not my thing. Um... So, it's not her thing, but she accidentally engaged in hookup culture, by the way. So, she doesn't like the culture, okay, but... She has accidentally dabbled in it a couple of times, guys. You know, she tripped and she fell and she just somehow ended up dabbling in it. You know, but she can't be blamed, obviously. And I don't want that in my life anymore. So it's... In look, look, look at that. I don't want it in my life anymore. So now that I'm... I don't know how old this woman is. 30 plus. Uh, no idea. But now that I'm older, now that I need some security in my life, now that I need something you know, long lasting for the provisioning, really, because that's what it's about. Now I need that connection. I'm getting real desperate here. You know, I'm getting really desperate. I just need a man to enter into my life. It, the, the key word she said there, guys, is anymore. Listen to this. And I don't want that in my life anymore. So it's interesting to me when like, I'm specifically like on a dating app and I put like, I'm not looking for a weird situation ship or for me to date a guy who's also dating 18 other women and has a date every night with a different one and then is breaking up with them and then they cry and he's broken up with three in the past two weeks that have cried i'm good i i'm not an option here then i don't want to compete i'm not into that enjoy not my thing she doesn't want to compete imagine this right imagine to <laughs> you know it's it's funny when dudes say the same thing it's like there's no reason to, co to compete in the dating market anymore for a lot of men. You know what I'm saying? It's just funny when it's coming from a woman. What The funny thing is, okay, men can go out there, they can compete their entire lives and still absolutely get screwed over. They can get run through the divorce courts, okay? They can lose their family. They can lose absolutely everything because they select the wrong women. Women who have options an abundance of options since they're the age of 20. When things start getting a little bit difficult, they're like, I don't want to compete with other women. I, I don't want to do anything for a man's attention. I don't want to try. I just want to be selected. And this is what I've been saying, guys. You can ignore reality, but eventually reality just kicks you in the backside. You can say, oh, I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to settle. I don't need no man, blah, blah, blah. But when you reach 35 plus years of age, reality will kick, you know, come along and it will kick you in the backside. And you can not care what men want, and you can not compete for men all that you want. But that's not going to land you a man if that's what you want. Hilarious stuff. Okay, so I've just had a listen to this woman, and I think we're going to be leaving today's video here. Guys, don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments. What do you guys think about modern women who are regretting this culture that they themselves participate in and they themselves create? Let us know in the comments below. If you guys have any experiences that you would like to share, feel free to do so. And as always, guys, make sure that you take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.